Well, hello. I am Andrea Gigline, and I am just checking to make sure that, yep, the recording is going. Pause, stop recording. Perfect. It's been that kind of day. Welcome to Q3 of the Unicorn Challenge. To benefit, Teach for America Nevada. If you didn't do a donation, please do one. I look forward to your input and hearing how you do along this path. Each quarter, I do four weeks of gathering us together so we can all play together in trying to just push forward one more thing on our list that we think we want to do. And I very methodically put it together in the Unicorn Challenge, which hopefully you have your free copy. And it's 61 minute exercises that are honestly designed just to keep batting you in the head so that you stop saying you want to do things and instead organize your thoughts just long enough to just maybe start working on one or two things. So, you know, normal, traditionally I go through the first seven in the first video. Here's what I want to do a little differently. The, Somewhere in the in the 60 days, it's somewhere in the first 30, I suggest you take the VIA, again, another free uh, tool. It's your values in action. It is the core of my teaching and learning in positive psychology that we are born with natural strengths. And you should focus on building your natural strengths to support your efforts in life versus thinking that there's stuff wrong with you, that you waste all of your energy trying to fix what is imaginarily wrong with you, what's missing. Instead, we use the foundation of what you came in with and build from there. So that is somewhere in a later tip. I want you to do that first. Here's why. In my own work, I have every client do that. And in talking with a client recently who is now a friend, I realized, hey, you know, they asked a question about self-worth and is it genetic? And I thought that was a pretty interesting question and absolutely self-worth self -worth is not genetic. But what I will tell you is that you have genetically built into you the strengths that help you build your self-worth. And it is from that foundation that you can achieve almost anything you need to achieve. I always have to qualify. Um, so do the VIA no matter where it is in the tips. Then... Let's start with the dump list, my most favorite thing. And let's be really clear. If you look back through my playlist, you're going to see a whole bunch of this, you know, Q1, Q2, Q3, last year, this year, yada, yada. Hey, that's what a habit is. That's how you form habits. You keep doing what works. And little by little, even when you think you didn't achieve everything you wanted to achieve, what you're doing is building the habit of reviewing, checking yourself, putting the right stuff forward, just like you know me talking about the values in action, needing to be remembered, uh, reminded. So in that vein, I'll show you exactly how values in action works in your life. One of mine happens to be a love of learning. So that means, although I invest my career in helping others find incredible information to inspire themselves to achieve their goals. I also spend an enormous amount of my personal life learning new things. So there are, there are some books that I've stumbled upon and I have to look in all different sources. There are two books. It's summertime. You got a little more time to read one of them is actually nonfiction, but based in the psychology of this psychologist Adler, who uh, admittedly I had never studied. That book is called the Co A Conversation, no, no, sorry, The Courage to be Disliked, The Courage to be Disliked. And it's a conversation, I actually have it on Audible. It's a conversation between a philosopher and a young man. 
but he touches on every single thing that I generally touch on in my work. And I'm listening to the book for my own edification and to see where I'm falling down and what I could learn. And I'm actually learning about a whole new psychologist to add to this very good, solid work. The other one is um, Into the Magic Shop. I haven't read Into the Magic Shop. I'm reading Mind Magic by James D-O-T-Y, M-D. He is a Stanford uh, professor, uh, and he actually has a center on compassion there. What he does is take life experience, the achievement and loss of great wealth, great success in general, and merges it with all the sciences that the Unicorn Challenge and a thousand other programs that have you trying to help yourself are developed in. He really merges the science between how you attract things into your life using your mind, and it is very solidly based. I find if you get that one on Audible, he speaks a little too slow for me. I am a New Yorker, <laughs> so just speed it up a little bit. I am finding his work to be phenomenal. So now, what it, why are we here today? The Unicorn Challenge. The Unicorn Challenge is that time for you to use all of these magical tools of taking care of yourself and just thinking, maybe I can achieve something else, no matter what your age is. I have to say that all the time. One, because I am no proverbial spring chicken. It is about holding on to dreams. Sometimes, if you're 80 or 90 years old, the dream is, wouldn't it be lovely to just have someone come in today and hold my hand and have a conversation? There is never a time you have to give up magical thinking. And what the unicorn challenge and all the good science behind positive psychology and the other books that I'm suggesting is telling you is, yes, it may be magical, but it is solidly based magic. So I've done a lot. This is all free stuff. It's about sticking to it. And the very first thing after you do find out what your strengths are, do a dump list. All of those pieces of paper and all of those lists, whether it's personal travel, personal, you know, business achievements, whatever it is, family relationships, dump it all into one thing so that you can begin the process of sorting and catching yourself where you're lying like crazy to yourself of what's really important. Where do you really want to spend your time? Because please always remember, if you want to know what is important to a person, Look at their calendar and their checkbook because that's where we are showing the world what is really important. And what I'm asking you to do is match your mouth to everything else in your life. And the dump list helps you do that. Now, I will be back once a week with a new video. If others join us, I'll be willing to guide questions. I can't answer anything. I wish I knew the answers to everything. I know the steps to get there. Everything is about you doing the work, me doing the work, because the one thing I know about this science is that it works. So get your free download. Use Libby to get the books on Audible for free. Get the free values in action. It's a very free thing. And the last statement that I always love to close with, if you don't do the free stuff, my fee is not the problem of why you're not achieving. I am Andrea Gigline. Thank you for watching. Please do the work. Let me know how it's going for you. And always donate to Teach for America Nevada. Thank you.